Good day everyone! Today we're about to learn something new. Are you ready for another day of learning? Well then, let's begin. When you look into a mirror, have you noticed something interesting about you and your image in the mirror? How do mirrors form images? Did you know that mirrors could create different types of images? Malalaman natin ang mga sagot sa mga tanong na yan as we go on with our lesson in grade 10 science, quarter 2 for week number 6. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to predict the qualitative characteristics that includes the orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by plane and curved mirrors and lenses, S10FE-2G-50. Today, we'll get acquainted with the topic, Qualitative Characteristics of Images that is formed in plane, concave, and convex mirrors as well as the loss of reflection. Have you tried pointing a laser in front of a mirror? Notice that if you point a laser in front of a mirror, the light bounces off an object and a phenomenon called reflection occurs. The laws of reflection state that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal line to the reflecting surface all lie in the same plane, and the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The laws of reflection are stated or illustrated on the given diagram. Let us now explore the reflection of objects in a plane mirror. It's the most common type of mirror that you can find in your home. When light hits an object, every part of that object reflects light in all directions. Some of the reflected light reaches our eyes, thus we can see an object. The following are the characteristics of images formed by a plane mirror. First, the image is virtual. Second, it has the same size as the object. Third, it has the same orientation as the object. And fourth, same distance from the mirrors as the object. If you view an image of yourself in a plane mirror or even with the front cam of your cell phones when you take your selfies, you will notice that there is an apparent left-right reversal of the image. That is, if you raise your left hand, you will notice that the image raises what would seem to be its right hand. If you raise your right hand, the image raises what would seem to be its left hand. This is often termed as the left-right reversal. Have you seen an ambulance? How does the word ambulance is printed on its vehicle? The letters in front of the ambulance are written laterally. This is because when it's seen in the rear view mirror by other vehicle, the image of the word would get inverted letting the driver read the word properly so that he can provide way for the ambulance. We're done with the plane mirrors. Now let's have our discussion about the curved mirrors. Most curved mirrors are called spherical mirrors because their shape follows a surface of a sphere. There are two types of curved mirrors, the concave and the convex mirrors. Let us identify their descriptions and examples. For the concave mirror, it reflects light inward to one focal point. It is used to focus light. This is also known as the converging mirror for it has a reflecting surface that is recessed inward or away from the incident light. Examples of concave mirror are Car's headlight Flashlight and dentist mirror. As for the convex mirror, it reflects light outwards. Therefore, they are not used to focus light. It is also called as the diverging mirror, which the reflective surface bulges towards the light source. Examples of convex mirror are rear view mirror of the vehicles, security mirrors in convenience stores, and sunglasses. A spoon can be used as a reflection of concave and convex mirror. On the given illustration, 
The spoon on the right side is the reflection of the convex mirror, and the one on the left is for the concave mirror. There are two types of images formed by reflecting surfaces, the real image and the virtual image. The following are the characteristics of a real image. A real image is formed when light rays actually meet after reflection. A real image can be formed on a screen and a real image is inverted with respect to the object. On the other hand, these are the characteristics of a virtual image. A virtual image is formed when light rays do not actually intersect after reflection, but they appear to diverge from the mirror. A virtual image cannot be formed on a screen, and a virtual image is erect with respect to the object. Ray Diagram and Image Formation by Plane Mirror A plane mirror makes an image of objects in front of the mirror. The image appears to be behind the plane in which the mirror lies. An image is formed by reflection when two or more reflected rays of a point meet at a single point. The image is formed at the point of intersection of the reflected rays. The table shows the image formation by plane mirror. For location, it's behind the mirror. Orientation, upright. Size, same size as the object. And type, virtual. At this moment, I'll be showing you a video about the three types of rays of lights and the ways to predict the characteristics of images formed by curved mirrors. To predict the characteristics of images formed by curved mirrors, remember these three basic light rays. In this activity, we will identify the different parts of a curved mirror. The first one is the concave mirror, and the second one is the convex mirror. What does letter C stands for? It is the center of curvature, or the point in the center of the sphere from which the mirror was sliced. How about the letter F? It is the focus or the focal point, a point midway between the vertex and the center of curvature. How about letter V? Vertex, the point on the mirror surface where the principal axis meets the mirror. So where is the principal axis now? So that is the principal axis, a line passing through the center of the sphere and attaching to the mirror in the exact center of the mirror. By using the three basic light rays that you have learned a while ago, we can now predict the characteristics of images formed by curved mirror. I will place the object in different positions. Predict the characteristic of images formed by its location, orientation, whether it's upright or inverted, size, is it enlarged, is it the same, or reduced, and the type of image. Real image if the image is formed in front of the mirror, and virtual image if it is formed behind the mirror. Is it clear? So I will give you two examples for you to learn on how to predict the images it formed. So this is the first one. What will be the characteristic of the image formed when an object is placed at infinity? Infinity means that the object is very far from the mirror. Malayo po yung object. So, wala po dito kung di, napakalayo po niya talaga. In this case, gagamitin po natin yung mga basic light rays na natutunan po natin. Yan. Ang tawag po dyan ay PF ray. Tandaan po natin kung saan po nagtatagpo o nagkakaroon ng intersection ang dalawang rays ay doon po natin mapuform yung ating mga images. 
Tandaan po natin, yung object po natin ay sobrang layo, kaya hindi po natin makikita. But still, the image can be formed in this location. So, what are the characteristics of the images formed when an object is at infinity? In terms of location, it is found at the F or at the focus of the mirror. The orientation is inverted. Pag sinabing inverted, baliktad. Size, highly reduced. So, in-emphasize po natin yung salitang highly dahil sobrang liit po niya. Sobrang lumiit po. And the type of image is real image. Alright? For the second example, yan, nakikita po ninyo yung tatlong rays. So, i-trace po natin. Ray 1, from the parallel axis to the focus. Alright? Ray 2, from the focus to the parallel axis. Is there an intersection? Of course. Kung saan po nagkaroon ng intersection, doon po natin mag-form yung image. So, that would be the image. So, what is the characteristics in terms of location? What is the location? It is between C and F. How about the orientation? Is it inverted or upright? The correct answer is inverted. How about the size? Is it enlarged, the same, or reduced? The answer is reduced. And the type of image, is it real or virtual? Of course, the correct answer is real image because the image is formed in front of the mirror. Did the video help you understand our lesson for today? Then let's try to assess what you've learned by answering the given activity. Kindly open your module on page 16. The activity is entitled, The LOST Art of Image Description in Spherical Mirrors. The following figures show the ray diagrams for the formation of the image by a concave and a convex mirror for various positions of the object. Use a table to summarize the characteristics and location of the images formed. Use a separate sheet for your answers. Let the following questions guide you in answering your activity. L stands for location. What is the location of the object? O stands for orientation. Is it upright or inverted? S stands for the size. Is it large? Is it the same or reduced? And lastly, T stands for the type. Is it a real image or a virtual image? Feel free to pause this video to answer your activity. Now it's time for a short quiz. Kindly prepare your ball pen and your paper and get your module for Science 10 and kindly open it on page 19. As for the direction, read carefully each item and choose the letter that you think best answers the question. Write the answer on a sheet of paper. Isang makabuluhang leksyon na naman ang ating natalakay sa araw na ito. Magaling! I hope you learned a lot from our lesson for today. Hanggang sa muli, goodbye and God bless everyone!